In this video, I'm back at Animal Kingdom to enjoy dinner with Mickey and Donald at Tusker House. We will talk about the food, the characters, and what to expect with this experience. The Tusker House offers character dining for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and I opted to arrive at the park just before dinner time. But before I ate, I thought it would be best to enjoy a quick ride aboard Expedition Everest. After escaping the Yeti, it was time to head to my dinner reservation at Tusker House. Alright, so as usual when I'm at a restaurant, it's a little bit noisy, but we are at the Tusker House for dinner tonight. And it is going to be, once again, the all I care to eat menu, which is trouble because I had that um, earlier today for the Liberty Tree Tavern. Um, but this will be more African flavors, and so we'll see how it goes. Plus, Mickey, Donald, Goofy, and Daisy should be coming by, so should be fun. Here is the bread service and the salad. And I got chocolate milk because I'm being wild. So it is crazy loud in here, but I just got done with I just got done with my bread service, and it was all very good. I think the, the hummus was my least favorite, because it's kind of a red pepper hummus, but it was still good. But the mango and the mango chutney was very good, and also the other one was just great. So yeah, and the salad, I think I like this salad a little bit better than the salad I had today at the Liberty Tree Tavern. It has kind of a vinaigrette dressing on it that was a little bit more of a unique flavor than compared to the one I had this morning. Herbal's chicken, marinated pork, flag steak and chimichurri on rice, veggies, and roasted potatoes. We have a tandoori sauce for the month. Some coconut curry shrimp. And a lot of cheese. Enjoy. Donald, how are you doing? Yes, so I know, I wanted to show you this. So look, I got Donald, yeah. Yes, and look, look at this. Number one duck, so I, yes, so. Do, can you, you take a picture? Daisy, I wanted to show you. Look at this shirt. Yes, and now now look look at these. Yes, yes, you're man, you're man. Yes, so good. Can we get a picture together? All right. There. So the white cheddar mac and cheese is delicious, very rich and creamy and just very, very good. I like it a lot more than the uh, mac and cheese, which was still good at the Liberty Tree Tavern today. And the shrimp curry, I'm not usually a curry fan, but this is delicious. It's, I think it's a green curry. It's very, very good. How are you doing? It's so good to see you. I've been missing you. So what? It's been a it's been a while. What's what's the news with you? Anything fun going on? Going on the river. That's so, that's fun. Super fun. And the, this evening I have a fast pass to go and see the Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. I mean a lightning line. So I'm excited for that adventure. It should be fun. Yeah. Can I get a picture with you? Thank you. 
Goofy, we, we've, got, we've got something to talk about because yesterday was a very special day. It was your 90th birthday! Look at you! He's looking so good, 90! So congratulations, happy birthday. Can, can I get a picture with the birthday boy? Okay. All right, I just got done at the Tusker house and the meal was delicious. I think my very favorite thing was the green curry shrimp and also that white cheddar mac and cheese. Both of those were amazing. Um, the, the meats were decent, a little tough on the steak, but yeah, the chicken was good, the pork was very good, and yeah, the vegetables were excellent. The only thing that was kind of a meh was the desserts looked really good, but they weren't overly flavorful to me. Um, they were just okay, but they looked really good, so if you're going for looks and Instagram worthy, that's where it's at, but yeah. And then the characters were all very fun to interact with. So very fun meal. Yeah, I think it was $55 for adults, so a little pricey, but that's usually what you get for character dinners, so very fun. After dinner, I opted to go on an evening ride on Kilimanjaro safaris, and while during the evenings many of the animals are asleep or out of sight, we were still able to see most of the different animals available. <laughs> Depending on if they're male or female, they can get up to between 11,000 pounds. So it's very hot out today, and you know, most of the time here in Africa. Then I headed over to Hollywood Studios to use my lightning lane for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. <laughs> Last time I absolutely loved Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Such an excellent attraction, such great effects, so much fun. And then after I got out of that, I walked down to Rock and Roller Coaster, which I had never done before. And I did the single rider line and I thought, well, this won't be too intense. It was intense. So um, that was wild. Um, so yeah, my head was flying everywhere, but very fun, but very wild. Um, so yeah, that was good. And the single rider line, of course, didn't take too long for that. So right after Rock and Roller Coaster, I went and bought these, um, homemade lunch tarts. Look at, this is the raspberry one. I will take a bite right now. Pretty good. I'm not sure if you can see, but as a wise man once said, look at that goodness in there. So yeah, that one has raspberry in it, which is good. And the other one, I think this was, this one I think is a banana, I'm spilling sprinkles here. This one I think is a banana one. So I'm gonna, there we go. I'll see it. Look at that goodness in there. Look at that goodness. So let me take a bite. I think it's almost a banana peanut butter. I'll have to look at the menu because I think it's banana and peanut butter and that one's very good. That one has a little bit more filling than the raspberry one. So I think I like this one better, but I'm going to probably save these for breakfast tomorrow because I'll just eat some here before I head over to Epcot because the hope is for tomorrow I'll be waking up early and hopefully getting a boarding group for the all new Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind, which opening day is tomorrow. So. Fingers crossed for that, because it's going to be tricky, but yeah. Day one here was wonderful. Hollywood Studios and Animal Kingdom were not nearly as crowded as I thought they would be, and I was still able to get a ton of stuff done at Magic Kingdom. And as you saw, um, Disney Genie helped make that, Disney Genie Plus helped make that happen, so 
it worked for me on this one, so that's good. Still a better experience with Disney Genie Plus at Disneyland, but I was still able to knock out a bunch of big attractions here. So thanks so much for watching. If you haven't already, consider subscribing because I have a lot more adventures here at Disneyland and aboard the Disney Cruise Line. Yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please give a like. Thanks so much, and we'll see you all again real soon. Or...